Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Microsoft Loop. So, before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we start using Microsoft Loop? Well, using it is very easy. So, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go ahead and go to the official website for Microsoft Loop, which is going to be loop.cloud.microsoft. Now, in here, let's go ahead and start, uh, basically start using the platform. Now, the first thing that we, know, we need to understand here is the organization or how things actually work here and how pages and workflows or workspaces actually work. So in order for you to start using Loop here, we first need to create our workspaces. Now, workspaces is a way for us to start grouping pages or content that we want to start adding. So for you to start creating your workspace, we want to go ahead and click on the plus button at the top left here. And from here, it allows you to basically create new pages, new links, page and ideas, or new workspace. But like what I said before, let's go and click on new workspace. Now, from here, we need to add a name for our workspace. So as an example, maybe I want to say this is going to be a sample workspace. Now, from here, let's go ahead and click on the create option. And basically, this is the first thing that you'll notice. So before we proceed adding content here, let's go and discuss the different icons that we can see here or different settings that we can access. So first is the dev panel. Now, the dev panel actually allows us to access different workspaces or different tools. So first we have our search here. Now, if you wanna search for pages or workspaces, for example, if you have a lot of workspace and pages here, this allows you to easily find them, which is something really handy, especially for big projects or if you have a lot of projects here. Now, notifications allows you to view notifications like any mentions or tasks assigned to you, invites, conversations that your part will be actually be shown in here. Now, if you choose recent, this allows you to basically see what is the recent pages and components that you have or you access. Ideas allows you to basically create new components. So capture all your ideas in loop for yourself or in this case with others. We have workspaces here, which allows you to view all your workspaces or workspaces that you are included. So in this case, maybe I want to say I want to go back to workspaces here. Now, by the way, we have a recent here, which allows you to view our recent workspaces and pages. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and start editing our page here. Now, the first page that you have here is going to be the untitled page, which in this case, you could go ahead and click on the three dotted option here and it allows you to basically edit a few things. Like for example, if you want to delete this page here, rename the end style, add a recap, even duplicate it or save the page as a template if you want to use this as a reference later on. Now, you could also share a link for this page, even open it up or create a new sub page, which in this case allows you to uh, create a page within a page. So for example, let's go ahead and say there's going to be sample page here. Let's add a type to first one and you can just type in whatever. Now, when we go to sample uh, the sub uh, sub page here, this allows us to add pages that is still related to a specific page that we just added. So for example, let's just say this sub page sample here and just start typing whatever you want. Now, when we go back into the main page here, as you can see, we have our separate content and we'll go back to sub sample page, sub page here, sample. It allows you to see the information about it. Now, by the way, you could create a new page here if you click on a create new page here. And in this case, you might notice that there's a lot of icons that you see on your screen. Now, the great thing about Loop here, it is it allows you to basically create content or add content here from templates. Like for example, if you want to create a project brief here, you could use this template here. Just click on use this template and you should be able to basically add a specific uh, template on it, which in this case, you just need to fill out all the information here to basically get started, which is something really handy, especially if you want to do things a lot of fast. Now it includes like, for example, just text here, some outlines and some team members, if you want to add them in here and project levels, if you want to add like task on your uh, project, or in this case, your page here, let's go click on create new page here to start from scratch. Now, in this case, another thing you could do here is you could add icons into your page. Like for example, I want to assign this icon for this one and you can add like cover photo as well. So maybe I want to use this one, click on add. Now you can start adding your uh, title. So for example, this is going to be a fun page. Now you can go and start typing whatever here. And in this case, let's go and press and enter. Now, in this case, this allows you to start inserting different things. So for example, let's go and add a forward slash here. This allows us to add different uh, elements. 
Like for example, you can add new sub page here. You can add tables, checklists, bulleted list, numbered list, date, call out, code, or mermaid or mad equation. So depending on what you need. So basically anything you need, uh, it will be in here, which is something really cool. So for example, maybe I want to add a Kanban board here. Now Kanban board allows you to add a task in a, uh, in this specific, uh, look, which in this case, you could drag different tasks into different sections. As you can see right now, I can move it into a specific column here, which has different, uh, in this case, definition. So for example, I want to move it back into the do here. As you can see, it's now added in here. And basically, you could add like cards. Cards is a great way for you to keep track of what you want to do. So for example, I want to say this is going to be a task to this task. You could add a co-work uh, owner, which in this case, the assigned person that will be working on this specific task. Like you can also add a day here for a specific date that you want to uh, have this task accomplished. So for example, we want this accomplished by tomorrow. Now from here, you could go ahead and let them work and you just need to notify them or give this, uh, in this case, give that specific option to uh, give this that specific person access on your page here and they'll be able to start managing their task. Now, by the way, the, uh, you need to give this person access to notify them. So in this case, you want to go and click on this specific message here to start giving them access. Now, it will also give you uh, notifications or in this case, suggestions to invite a person if you haven't invited them. By the way, I'll be showing you later on how to exactly invite different people. But then again, you could go ahead and basically click on the expand option here. This allows you to uh, edit furthermore regarding that specific task or card, which in this case, you can change the stage here, the checklist, some notes if you want to add them and add a different field if you want to. Like for example, if you want to add a, a vote, a label, a number, or text. Again, depending on what you need. Now, you can even add sub items if you want to, share updates on what you need. You could even add comments here or even uh, start mentioning someone. If you add the at uh, symbol here, it allows you to mention people in the comment section, which is something really handy if you want to uh, want the attention of someone here. Now, in this case, they can just move this around. Like, for example, this person is already in progress. You should, you should be able to start adding it in that specific column. Now, if you want to add a different or another element that you could use, you could go ahead and go to the very bottom here and just type in forward slash. Again, you have the following options here, which is something really cool. But again, depending on what you need, you could choose the appropriate element here. So there's going to be a lot of elements that you could add. So I would suggest you to first uh, see what each is doing here. But for now, let's go and discuss how do you start sharing your presentation or in this case, your uh, workspace or your page. Now, at the very top right here, you have the following options. So you have the shared locations. So if you click on it, it allows you to basically share the location for the following page to another workspace. So if you click on add to workspace here, this allows you to add this to any specific uh, type or specific workspace. So maybe I wanted to add this to workspace or getting started workspace here, which in this case is going to be going to be added here. Now, once uh, it is uh, added, when you go to getting started, it should now be added here. We have our fun page here, which we, in this case, we can now start accessing. Now, if you click on the copy as loop component, it allows you to basically copy the current, uh, in this case, our current loop here, which allows anyone with the link to edit the loop. Now, if you click on settings here, by the way, you could edit uh, how it's going to be interacted. Like for example, you could uh, basically uh, assign uh, it as anyone that has a link can actually edit this. You can only choose, or you can set this to only people you choose or people with existing access only. Now you could even add the more settings here. In this case, you could add and basically can edit, add expiration dates for the edit itself. If they require verification, or in this case, you could, if you require further, um, in this case, security, you could even add a password if you want. Now, in this case, if you click on share at the top right here, this allows you to either share your workspace, which in this case, if you share your workspace, by the way, this allows you to share the uh, all the pages they already have here. But if you want to pay, uh, uh, only share the specific page, you need to choose page link here. Now, if you want to choose loop component, this only allows you to uh, share your loop component. Now, in this case, if you want to share a link or workspace, go ahead and choose the appropriate one here, and you just need to enter their email. Now, if you click on the tree data option at the top right here, this allows you to basically start renaming the uh, page 
or even print this if you want to. And if you want to see version history, some recaps if you want to, they see this what are the recaps when you create a recap, it will appear here. So if you want to create a new one, go ahead and create here, mention someone, add some text if you want. But yeah, so maybe I want to choose print in PDF, uh, PDF export. Let's go and choose this one. Now, in this case, it will start creating our PDF. As you can see right now, we have the PDF version of our page, which is something really, really cool. Now, in this case, but if, if you want to start managing easily your workspace, you go and click on the plus button or invite to manage members here at the top next to your workspace. This allows you to invite someone, which is uh, a lot easier. So as you can see, we also have the uh, tab section here, which is something really helpful if you want to keep tab what or what a specific user or a member is currently accessing. But yeah, so in this case, if you delete something, like for example, I want to delete this one. Let's go ahead and click on delete, click on delete here. When we go to recycle bin at the very bottom here, it allows you to see the recently deleted uh, pages for this specific workspace, like the size for this one, when it, wa when it was deleted and who deleted it. So if you want to further delete this or restore it, you could go and click on restore. It will be back into our workspace here once it's actually uh, restored. As you can see right now, we have our uh, sample, uh, sub page sample. Now you can move the pages here. As you can see, I can move this uh, whenever I want. So I can uh, place it somewhere. I can also put them inside that specific uh, page here and basically start grouping them again. But yeah, so in this case, those are the basics on how to start using Microsoft Loop here. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.